Now let's go to the expert knowledge that's intuitive. The expert knowledge that cannot be spoken about. What can we do here? Well, um, it, it's like skills, expertise, or instinct. Individual knowledge that cannot be verbalized. What can we do? We can observe and we can re register. So observing means looking at it, making notes, maybe making a picture, uh, maybe making a video clip if it's allowed and if you don't destroy the business, be careful. It's a very small shop you are going to, right? So you cannot be there with six people with cameras and destroy the business. You shouldn't do that. So be very careful. But you have to observe. And, and then we have to do a, an interpretation that we call hermeneutic. hermeneutic means what would be my knowledge and mental process if I would show the behavior that this expert is showing? So you see somebody do things, look at it, watch it, try to capture it carefully, and then think what would be going on in my mind if I would do the same thing. Now this is very subjective, right? Because, so, what means? You have a reliability problem, so you need to train and you need multiple interpreters. In my case, I would say, you need two observers to take notes or pictures and, and, and also include the situation. So it's not just what the person is doing, but the person is doing that because there's another person waiting in the queue or whatever, right? So you need two people and then you have to compare notes, literally, right? So each of you interprets what he's can, can see and then... Uh, so, and, and again, for each role, actors that normally take that role observe activity. And then build a description and interpretation of activities for that role. Yeah? So this is the counterpart of the explicit information where you can ask people the question. Sometimes asking the question doesn't help. Then you observe. Again, two people because it's very subjective otherwise. But if two people independently come to the same interpretation, well, maybe we are right there. Okay?